not new for us. It's not new for this community. It's hard. It's hard. Tonight, East Knoxville leaders are demanding change in the wake of yet another deadly shooting. Justin Taylor, Stanley Freeman Jr. and Janaria Muhammad, all three Austin East students, and all of them were shot and killed in separate incidents over the past three weeks. 10 News reporter Grace King joining us now with more reaction from the community and what we heard a lot today, Grace, frustration. Certainly, Robin, we heard from a number of city leaders earlier, including the ones that represent this district. They're upset, heartbroken and frustrated by the continuing violence in this community. They said that this ends today because change is long overdue and they're pledging to start more community conversations for more partnerships and hold KPD accountable. Take a listen to Vice Mayor Gwen McKenzie. We have to stop killing in these streets. And there's some people who know who's doing it. Say some people's kids, we're tired. Today is the end of it. We are working together. These people standing behind us, you might, we might be mad, we hurting, but we need everybody standing together. Everybody out here today standing together. Knox County School Superintendent Bob Thomas said the recent violence has been unacceptable and that the schools will do anything they can do to support community interventions. In the meantime, they're offering counseling to all their students that just lost a handful of their classmates. Robin. Grace, thank you. In a news conference late this afternoon, Knoxville Police Chief Eve Thomas says she is reevaluating how and where officers are deployed. KPD is adding three school resource officers to Austin East and more patrol officers around dismissal time at Austin East and Vine Middle. Thomas says KPD will stop people for all violations and talk more with community members. These resources will be deployed thoughtfully in hotspot areas where violent crime is occurring or likely to occur. We will be very active and intentional in our patrol efforts. We'll be out on foot, we'll be walking in neighborhoods, we may be riding bicycles, but we will be talking to people. Next week, Mayor India Kincannon is asking City Council to support a $1 million budget investment. She's using a model that's been effective in other areas. The goal is to jumpstart community-based violence prevention and interruption programs. Now, there are, once again, no suspects in custody in either of these recent teen deaths. And what, of course, officers are asking for you to come forward if you have any information. KBD asking you to call the Drug and Crime Hotline. That number is 865-215-7212, and you can remain anonymous. And in a just-released statement, the sheriff is offering his condolences to the families and his support to KPD and the city of Knoxville. He is also urging people with information to come forward.